Hello everyone, my name is Inez. Today I'm going to be doing a video about angels. Angels from God. I know there's angels from the enemy as well, but the Lord has put this on my heart and I have to speak what he wants me to say. So it's kind of exciting. So um, let's just see what God has to say. So Holy Spirit, I ask you to take over every single word that comes out of my mouth and speak to your people in Jesus' name. So you read the Old Testament, the New Testament, you see a lot about angels. You see a lot about the enemy as well, but we're talking about God's angels today. So in the Old Testament, there are so many. I didn't, I'm not going to be giving you all the scriptures now because there's a lot. But angels appear to nearly like everybody in the Bible and angels can still appear today. Now today, um, where we are in this year, um, it's a very supernatural year. Um, it's a um, lot of angelic activity. I have seen it in my life. I can go into that as well. Um, I'll share one or two stories with you and um, what happened to me. I have also been given over the years since I have been saved, which I'm still waiting on. Um, by three different prophets in my life um, have said to me that angels will visit me from heaven and they will teach me things um, and then I will teach and uh, the people so I'm still waiting for that um, I'm excited I'm a bit nervous um, but I'll be sure to let you know when that happens but in the meantime I have um, experienced um, angels um, say for an example, um, back in April there, i uh, just give you a story now while, while I'm at it. Um, I was bringing my son somewhere in Paris and we went to the, the train station and the train station, if you were ever there, is just so big, it's huge, you can get lost in a second and we kind of got a bit overwhelmed. So every time we go somewhere we always say, Lord, you know, guide us and lead us, you know. So um, I just stopped for a second and there were so many tones I didn't know which way I was going so I was like, Lord, help me straight away. Second layer, through all these hundreds of people, if you're ever there in Paris, you'll you know what I mean. But out of all these hundreds of people walking to him and fro, this old man just stopped beside me, like real small, up to my shoulder. And I'm like looking at the, the map, you know, and he just stopped and he took a, his kind of wearing a tweed jacket and a tweed hat. It was really odd, like, and he just stopped and he smiled and he said, are you lost? And I'm looking at my son and I said, hey, yeah, we're looking for this platform. And he said, oh, you know, keep keep going, you're on the right way, I'll walk with you. So I'm kind of walking, you know, with, with the map, kind of looking. There's something, when you encounter an angel, I don't know if you've ever experienced this before, but you kind of know. I can't explain it. It's a bit like Abraham and Lot. When they seen the angels coming towards them, they just knew. They knew they were angels. I, I can't explain that. But I know I was walking with this guy, and in my head I'm thinking, Lord, I know it's an angel, or it's you, Jesus, one or the other, okay? So he's walking with me. And he was just kind of chatting here and there, but he had this smirk on his face the whole time. And it's like as if we knew each other. It was kind of strange. So he walked up an escalator with me. And he said, you go down this tunnel and you turn here or something like that. And he was just kind of chit-chatting here and there. And then as he just turned around and he just left and he walked off into the crowd. So we were walking and we got to the right place. But then as we turned to where we were supposed to go, there's like four different tunnels. And we were like, oh, where are we supposed to go now? Where are we supposed to go now? When the man said, oh, but you didn't say this. All of a sudden he appeared again out of the crowd and he's standing there and he kind of as if he was walking and he said oh yeah your your thing is just up around here and um, so I started walking with him again I said oh are you going this way yourself and he said that's your train there and as we turned the train just turned up and he tipped his hat at me and he said uh, take care have a great trip but as I was walking with him, I said, uh, you know, you're such a blessing. You know, thanks very much. And he just looked at me and he smiled and tipped his hat. And then as we seen the train, he literally was literally guiding me the whole way. And I said, is this your platform? And he said, no, this is not even my my tunnel. And he tipped his hat, smiled at me and walked off. Packed into the train, myself and my two sons looked at each other like this. I knew that was an angel. I knew. If people don't believe this, that's absolutely fine. But this is just... I know it was an angel, okay, sent to guide us and to lead us. But anyway, that's one of my experiences. Another thing that happened to me, what angels do. So angels guide, angels protect, angels are sent to give you messages. Angels can strengthen you. They strengthen Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Um, they give messages, they guide you, they help you, they warn. Just like in Sodom and Gomorrah, they went to, to law and they were there to literally 
guide them out of there uh, to strengthen Jesus. Uh, we know about Mary. I'm going to give you scriptures now in a few minutes. But just let me give you another story there. Uh, also, I went to see another man of God there during the year. And uh, myself and my friend, and we were joking, and um, I was kind of, I've had English money. I was in England, and um, we went to kind of like a pound store. And I had no notes in my purse, okay, because I'm going back to Dublin the next day, okay. So I didn't need anything big or anything, so I was trying to get rid of the change. So I just spent the last, all that was in the little purse that I had was like an Oyster card, um, and a few bits of change, and my ATM card. That was it. And when you know you've no money, you know you've no money. So anyway, um, I said, listen, do you know what? Uh, just walk to an ATM with me. I'll just take out a £20 to do me until tomorrow. So anyway, I'm thinking, and we were, myself and my friend, we were joking, you know, and we're saying, oh, Lord, we could do some miracle money now. <laughs> this is amazing. If you don't believe this, that's absolutely fine. But I went to an ATM, and the ATM um, said it can only take out multiples of 50. And there was no point in me taking out... A 50 because I was going home the next morning anyway right so um I looked and I cancelled it and I just kind of looked at my purse anyway and then I cancelled it and I wasn't going to take out any money okay so I took the card out but before I went over to the ATM myself and my friend were messing saying you know Lord we can do a miracle money like joking but like, I was kind of serious so <laughs> okay so um anyway I took the the card out and I put it as I was putting it back in my little purse with the Oyster card in it and like two cents in it or something. There was no notes. There was two brand new 20 pounds folded up in my purse and one brand new 10 pound. So there was two 20 pound notes and one uh, 10. So there was 50 pound just appeared in my purse. If people don't believe that, that's absolutely fine. But I mean, I looked at my purse and in your head, your natural mind, you're like, that was not there. That was, and I turned around, I actually walked off. My heart was pulsating. I didn't know whether to scream or shout or cry or, and my friend and my son were standing there going, what's wrong? What's wrong? What happened? Have you no money? What, what happened? Oh. And I walked back and I'm freaking out going, do you remember? You know, we were saying miracle money. Blah, blah, blah. And I took the money. I mean, it was brand new as if it was just printed. And she nearly freaked out. She just stared at me. Cause she's seen him inside my purse as well. And we were like, oh my gosh, oh my god, ah. 50 pound appeared in my body. Who did that? How could that happen? You know, could an angel have put that there? I'll leave that with you. If you don't believe that, that's absolutely fine. But that stuck in my head for ages. I mean, I was like, wow. So anyway, the thing about this is we are called believers in Christ, okay? Do you believe everything that is written in the Bible? Do you believe that angels can appear to people? Now, we know there's kind of flaky stuff out there, kind of weird stuff out there, okay? But another thing is, you cannot bow down to angels. You cannot worship angels, angel cards, all of this stuff, fairy stuff and all. No. A lot of times in the Bible as well, when a, an angel would appear to someone, uh, they'd be afraid. And they'd say, oh, and the angel would say, fear not. Okay, don't be afraid. So they'd always kind of calm them down, you know? Um. Yeah. So what was my point? Uh, yeah, so um, they'd always be afraid. So um, they can appear in human form um, or they can be kind of transparent as well, like where you can see through them. You can also sense angels. I don't know if you ever get that. If ever you're in, in a church or praying with people or uh, I don't know, you're in the middle of chaos or something and you, you just sense them, you feel them. If you can understand what I'm saying here, um, it's true and it can happen, you know. I'll give you another thing. It was absolutely crazy. Um, years ago, I think it was about three years ago, and I was sitting with my friend. She was in my sitting room, and we we were praying, seeking the Lord. This is this hasn't happened to me since, and I tell you, I freaked out. But this is something that we see in with our own eyes. I've seen other instances of things, okay, but this was like mind blown because somebody else actually was there when this happened. So she was sitting on my sofa and I was kind of like kneeling down, you know, kind of with my hand on her lap. And we said, you know, let's pray. But something happened. You know, the presence of God, when you feel the weightiness of God, but this was like extreme. It's like our heads like bow down. Can't remember what we were praying for, but our heads stuck down. I mean, I could not lift my head. It was like just stuck and her head was down. And she, we were kind of looking at each other like this, kind of going, what the, what, what's going on? Oh my God. So our heads were stuck and the weight of God was so thick 
So I remember I'm facing her like this and all of a sudden, I mean, all I could see was somebody just appear right here, standing right beside me, dressed in white. All I could see was kind of like their waist. And uh, hands just going on my friend's head and on my head. And you could feel it. This was like literally not even a minute, a couple of seconds. And his hands lifted off her head. And then that feeling was just gone. We could lift her head. I turned around. She just like was... I stood up screaming. I'm like, oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh! Like, I can be kind of dramatic sometimes, you know. So I was running up and down my, my sitting room. Did you? Oh my God. We were talking about it for ages. Like, what was that? What was that? So an angel appeared to myself and my friend and did something when he laid his hands on our heads. I'm telling you, it was amazing. We've had an amazing few years, but this year has been something else. You know, I haven't seen one yet at all this year, but things have happened. Unexplained things have happened, right, that have just left me going. The whole money in my purse thing and um, in Paris with this guy just like leading me for about 10 minutes, appearing and disappearing, and I mean, just leading me to my train. Amazing. So let me give you some um, scriptures. So that basically goes with Hebrews 13 too. Do not be forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Be careful who you're talking to on the bus, on the train, um, in your neighbourhood, in a shop mall. You have no idea who you're talking to. It could be Jesus. It could be an angel in human form come and as well you, you hear stories about them coming to help people you know when in accidents or, or to move them or push them aside something like that if you, or if you've ever had that feeling where you have to go here or you have to go it's this strong feeling you know angels can kind of gently push it as well i've had that happen to me it was actually the day that i had to get deliverance i think it was 2012 2011 2012 when um I need to get deliverance, but I kept going, I kept leaving for about three weeks. I, I was kind of too afraid to go up to the pastor because I thought they'd think I was crazy. Um, so this day I was actually walking out of the church and it's literally like a forceful thing just pushed me up to the pastor. If you believe that or not, that's absolutely fine. This is just, I know God is telling me to do this video for a reason. Um... Hebrews 1.14 Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvations? So you hear people when they say everyone has their guardian angel. I believe that. I believe everyone has their own angel. Big angels, small angels. I don't know. There, there's probably some with wings. There's probably some with not wings. Um, you know, there's cherubims. There's all these different ones. But I just feel that God is, is leading me to, to give these scriptures today. Mostly about Gabriel, because Gabriel is the messenger from God. We also have Michael. Michael is like the warrior angel. You read about Michael in um, Revelations, in Jude, and in Daniel. He's always the one that's fighting. He's always the one there to protect. So we have angels who protect us, who bring messages. Um, or God can send someone to speak to you. You know, um, um, through an angel. So that's why you have to be really careful. But I think that if you've ever had an encounter with an angel, I think you know. Just like my stories there. That like, there's something in you that knows it's supernatural. I have other things there, but I'll just keep this video short. Um, an angel was sent to Zacharias in Luke 1 to tell him that his wife would give birth. But he questioned and he kind of doubted. And then the angel told him... And Gabriel said that you're going to be dumb, you're not going to be able to speak because you didn't believe. The same thing happened to Mary in Luke as well. When he appeared to her and said, fear not, you know, you're highly favoured um, child of God. And you're going to carry the Messiah, you know, this yourself. Um, but they were all kind of startled when they seen the angel, you know. Um, yeah. So um, let me give you another one. Then in Acts 5.19, um, it says the angel of the Lord... OK, open the prison doors uh, to disciples to go and, and said, go and speak in the temple. So they were helping them to escape as well. They help, they help you move. They strengthen you. They guide you. Like I said, you hear people in accidents and or you see things as well. You've seen them videos on, on YouTube where some people should have been smashed up in a car wreck, but the car went a different side or something, you know, and I'm sure many times in this life, myself and yourselves, and um, that you're alive for a reason, you know, and um, 
you know like if, if you were delayed or if you were late or something happened and it could have been an accident you know and god is protecting you and you probably sent an angel also as well like you remember um Balaam and Balak as well and the donkey um was trying to prevent them from going coursing um the people from Israel you know and then uh, his eyes were open and he seen the angel standing there with the sword because the donkey also seen him it's like I believe that animals can see angels as well um so um in Acts 12 7 the angel of the Lord came and shined light upon the prison smote Peter on the side and he told him to get up and he literally issued him outside and put him on the street and he just disappeared so they can just disappear as well okay and it's like Peter as well he kind of went did I see that did I not see that it's you know your natural mind as well is like did that just happen um and then also other part of angels as well is um God sends them in revelation as well in the old testament in second kings as well uh, the angels are sent to destroy the enemy as well in uh, Acts um, 12, 21, Herod was sitting down and he arrayed himself like he was a god and all the people were like bound down to him and lifting up man, you know, and he loved it and he took pride in that and said the angel of the Lord smote him and worms at him. Um, so they're sent to do that as well. It's just what the word says. I'm just repeating what the word says. Um, that's it. So um, and then in Acts 27, the same with Jesus. Jesus was strengthened in Luke 22 by an angel and in Acts 27 an angel was sent to Paul uh, to, to strengthen him and because the angel was telling him he's literally you're going to be like punished you know you're, you're going to be um, put in danger but you have to do it but he was just strengthening him you know so there's times we do go through things but I'm sure there's the angels there strengthening us also so this is a year my brothers and sisters of and the angelic so just be aware you know, um, um, make sure you're walking and um, being led by the spirit and not carnal this year because God is doing amazing things. Amazing things are happening. People are being propelled into their destinies. People are going to have visitations by angels. Just be aware of that as well. I'm kind of lo like looking forward to mine because I've had these prophecies from three different prophets since 2011. The same thing has been said to me, that angels from heaven will appear to me and teach me things um, from God and tell me things. So I'm really looking forward to that. I have a very funny feeling it's going to be this year. And the Lord literally told me this afternoon to make this video about angels. So there it is. So if you're a believer in Christ, you have to believe this. Okay. Remember, we don't worship angels. You know, don't call upon angels. Don't bow down to them. Um, there's many other scriptures in the Bible and remember as well about the angel came down and troubled the water. Um, I mean there's so many. Samson as well, his parents were visited by angels, the whole lot of them. Um, so let's just pray. So Lord, I just pray for your people. I pray Lord that they will be aware, Lord. I pray that they will walk, Lord, in the supernatural. I pray, Father God, that you will help your people, Lord, with unbelief, Lord, and doubt, Lord, that you will deliver them from these things, Lord, that they believe that your children, Lord, have faith like little children, Lord, and that they believe in your miracles, that they believe in the supernatural, that they believe that you still are the same today, yesterday and forever, and that you still send angels, Lord, to your people, Lord. So I pray for your people's hearts, Lord to be quickened and to believe lord and that you're going to do great things this year lord you're going to open doors for them lord you're going to send angels to them lord to help them lord you're going to do miracles in your children's lives lord and i pray lord that they will testify about it lord of your goodness in jesus christ's name bless them lord okay so just be alert and i love you and it's an exciting message so we give god all the glory in jesus name